everyone, and welcome back to another television review. And so, uh, yep, continuing my trend of television show reviews, I've decided, even though I'm the, we're in the thick of season three of the Grand Tour, you know what, I'm going to review, you know, give my overall thoughts on this whole series in general, because I've been putting this off for uh, like a couple of weeks now, because um, I originally wanted to do do this review back when uh it was they just had the uh, second season wrap, wrapped up but then i realized you know what have i wait until uh season 3 comes along and maybe i can give my final thoughts on it but you know what i'm going to just get through it right now and i'm going to say this is um it is really damn entertaining I'm, i love it so much if you're a car fan or a fan of top gear you love this show if you love to travel you would probably love this show and like they this show really delivers okay and like everyone does their part you know there's they still have their their own kinks you know the from you know jerry carson saying he's the car for you know i'm the best in the world and to richard hammond you know doing his own thing and of course of course james may being captain slow <laughs> as usual but hey that's that's how they operate that's how they roll and like, I'm loving what they did so far throughout the series, reviewing the cars, taking us to new exact places. Um, I, we're not, I actually really enjoyed the, no, no, I can't even speak anymore, the Namibia special back in season one. Uh, you know, the beat, Beach Boy Buggy, Beach Buggy Boys. Remember that episode? Uh, I really enjoyed the Columbia, uh, special this pat, and this during this current season. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, no honesty, I really enjoyed, uh, this, I'm really enjoying this show. I can't wait to see where this goes. If, if it's going to get renewed for another season, it, it's some really good stuff. And, okay, I want, definitely want to talk about the cars. Oh my goodness. Yes. That was the good thing that at least they stuck to roots of their, their, from their show, you know. Okay. Okay. On tonight's program, we're going to do this. We're going to go on an adventure. But then, of course, I guess you want to, at least, at least one good car review. And I definitely enjoy the celebrity, uh, you know, face-off moments, which, of course, that's the one thing that stuck in my craw, and even though we're on the third season, is, no, nope, what happened to celebrity face-off? Are we going to get a celebrity face-off sometime this season? Um, Maybe may before the new one, because I would love to see that, because um, as much as Harry Braycratch was hysterical back in the first season, which you can clearly tell... It's all they when they didn't really kill those actors and actresses. That you could tell that they were stunting people. <laughs> oh my god, that was really really funny. Uh, <laughs> does he mean? Does that mean she's not here? She's not coming on the show? No, James. Of course he's. Of course they're not. <laughs> Oh my God! It's like it's like you know. It's like it, it was like they really stuck to a script. And of course, I, I really like that football one that they did. You know, um, apparently Brian Johnson's been run over by a bunch of guys that okay to play the football, and they're going no, 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 yeah, no that's not football. You, the, the football is actual kicking. <laughs> of course, it goes off on that whole thing. That was pretty, pretty damn irritating. Oh my Lord. <laughs> so yeah, overall, if you're a car fan, definitely watch this show. It's over on Prime. Absolutely agree with it. Um, the cars are the car reviews are amazing. Um, that Neo review that they that they just reviewed like a few weeks ago, really cool stuff. Even though it's not street legal, but I definitely want would love to see that in car. Uh, you know, up in person. J that's just me, Frank. Car, car enthusiasts out there, right? So overall, if I want to give. I want to give so far. I'm gonna so far give the the Grand Tour this overall an overall score of an eight and a half out of ten. It's almost damn near perfect. My only knocks on it is the fact that um, uh, you know, I really wish they could really do more of the celebrity uh, face off segments, or and of course maybe come with something new and original. Besides that, of course, hey, hey, but hey, at least they're going out of the way to uh, do their own challenge. Just you know. Uh, you know, do something that they never ever done back on their old show. So, so it does have some merit, and it's definitely well worth watching on Prime. All right. So that does for tonight. Let me know what you think. Thumbs up this video, subscribe to my channel, and stay tuned for some more awesome videos.